Hey friends, it's Patty with Get Personal with Patty, and I promised you this video if you watched a few videos ago about something that we were really focused on in the, um, I guess it was mid-April to right about now, so you can kind of guess what it is, and that is paying taxes. So my husband is a self-employed business. So every year we have to pay taxes. It's, it's nothing good or bad. I mean, certainly the goal from this point on and into the future is to pay quarterly so that every quarter, and we're going to break it down by month starting in July, we'll save money from his business as well as some funds from my checking um, my check on a weekly basis or any income that I get in monthly to make sure that we send in something a month or a quarter. That way, at the end of the year, it's not a feeling of scrambling, right? Because budgeting can be very overwhelming. And what I've learned in the last year and a half by doing the Budget Mom Method is that it budgeting comes with mindset set and being intentional and I believe I've learned this and I'm grateful that I have because I would have never been able to save as much as we have saved in the last 11 weeks to pay this tax bill so using my Masky Life notebook so if you've never seen these go on to Masky Life um, dot com. I have their planner that I started, um, and I, you know, do my goals in there. And then I bought this little journal. Um, you know, it's, it's a little, um, you know, the dot journal, it's called something, the dot journal. There's a little heart at the bottom just to remind you to be grateful, right? Whatever it is you're grateful for. But I, I bought this when I bought my Mosky Life journal just to keep kind of a summary of what I do on a monthly basis, what my goals are, my financial goals, and then I use stickers to decorate it. So see, I started this in March and that was my little March thing. Um, you know, what my little goals were, my goals kind of, <laughs> and then at the end of the month here, I put my March wins. So, um, the first thing, ironically, for March, my March win was, um, you know, to pay off our taxes. And now this is the mass, our mass taxes, and that we did pay it off, but that was actually for last year, for 2019. So there you have it. So that was almost like a year late, and that's okay. I'm not saying, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is we, we are on a budgeted plan for the IRS and that will remain the same I, you know I, I can see us making a dent in it in the next year but then 2020 by paying our our tax bill Friday tomorrow with the money that we've saved then we won't have to add that to our tax bill and it just feels good so here it is my big goal was hit breathe okay so I just want to show you how we did it the 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 reason why I'm showing this is because I'm it's a proud moment in our financial journey and it's also to help you whoever you are when you get overwhelmed with your budget to look at your income sources selling things weekly checks monthly income however it is it comes to you be mindful and intentional of where that money is coming and how you're spending it. We did not lose 50 pounds in April to May because we didn't eat. We still had our grocery fund. We still did fun things. We still had a budget and followed it. I use the budget mom method. I mean, I can show you, you know, if you watch my videos um, for my paycheck, I use the box set. And this is this week's paycheck, but already I have my 
usual envelopes written down as well as my sinking funds. Perhaps in the last few weeks where I've taken money out, I didn't have as many sinking funds, but I still had some and I still put money in some. But I also worked overtime when I could. I also sold a few things, household items, things that are around. We're having a um, multifamily yard sale on Saturday. I don't expect to make a lot, but whatever monies I make at that yard sale, being mindful and inten intentional with my money, I will take that and put it or disperse it through my sinking funds. And that's what I'm just saying. And I'm also telling you that the overwhelming feeling of creating and sticking to a budget is real. It's real for all of us, even me who've done this for the last year and a half, this method. So I'm just saying, when you put aside a little amount, whatever you can do, don't drink that coffee. Don't stop at Honeydew or Cumberland Farms or whatever it is you get that dollar five coffee or $3 coffee because, you know, that's the balance there. And put that money aside in an envelope. At the end of a month, you might see that you have 20 bucks and that's all coffee money. It's something. Put a little aside somewhere. Okay, without further ado, because I don't want this video to be too long. It's really for you to see how we made it happen. So our tax bill was $7,115. Our starting balance toward that was $2,772. So in, um, in that, from April 2nd to, to May 10th, which is really, really where we accumulated the monies, um, my husband got paid three times, right? One, two, three times. So from his funds, we were able to put together, um, 1,300, so 12, so $2,500. And then from this, my sales, um, my income, my monthly side gigs, I was able to put $1,700 aside in cash. And that was really some weeks, as you can see, $40, $125, $400, $50, $50, $100, $150, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $
300, 400, 500, 600, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 1,000, 100, 50, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, and 20, 40, 45, 50. $1,700. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it says. <laughs> so, how exciting is that? I'm really, really excited to deposit this in the bank. Now, you may ask, why did I keep it at home? Um, you know, this, the budget mom method has taught me that I can keep cash at home without spending it. So, it that doesn't bother me anymore. And, and believe me, it did. You know, a few years ago, I'd have money cash at home for something and, you know, put aside for something and I always spent it. So, nope. I wasn't, I'm mindful, intentional, and I can keep that money at home. And there we have it. Um, $7,115 deposit and my taxes will be paid. Thanks. Whoa. I'm so excited. I'm knocking down the camera. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please subscribe and like my video. And you can do it. That's the thing here. You can do it. Bye now.